Hello YouTube viewers far and wide and welcome back to the future. As many of you viewers of this channel know, I like to open up my videos with an interesting AI generation. So today we have something very interesting. That is if you know anything about the AI community, specifically text to image. This image that you're viewing right now would not really be allowed by most text to image generators. However, here it is and I gotta say it's quite a good image. This is obviously Bob Ross as Captain America, and it's a pretty hilarious image, it's very coherent, got a nice symmetrical face, buffed up Captain America body, and it is certainly Bob Ross. This image was created by the Stable Diffusion Beta, which a lot of you viewers already know about, but a lot has been going on in relation to the AI that created this image, so before the main segment of today's video, I'm actually going to discuss it a little bit as a little AI news section. Anyways, folks, the main portion of today's video is going to be about Microsoft's new text-to-image AI which we will get to play around with in today's video. And if you want to skip the AI news and jump right to that portion of the video, the time will be on the screen right now. Anyways, this is a comparison. This is a Microsoft's text to image down here on the bottom. And I gotta say, it looks pretty promising, but we'll have to explore later in the video. Anyways, folks, briefly going into the AI news, Stable Diffusion is, of course, a text to image model, somewhere in between Mid Journey and Dolly 2, in my opinion, in terms of coherency. Artistic style is really up for debate, again, in my opinion. And recently it opened into a closed beta, just for testing reasons, and when it officially releases, which the developers known as Stability AI say will be soon, it will be fully open source, which means that anyone can modify it and use it in any way they want, which means the restrictions are really just based on the model itself. Right now in the closed beta, there's about 10,000 testers testing it out on a private discord server and these are the current rules for the beta testers in that discord server don't generate anything you'd be ashamed to show your mother typical just don't generate anything absolutely heinous if you want to generate anything that's 18 plus or not safe for work do it on your own processors once the model is fully released and yes because this is going to be open source that means people will be able to make programs so you can run this on your own computer at home. Look, either way, open source software is a really great thing for everybody. People will be able to take Stable Diffusion and modify it in ways they want. Websites could be created with Stable Diffusion. You could adjust it to try to create whatever you want. The possibilities are limitless, right? And if you're sitting there wondering what I'm talking about with Stable Diffusion in this closed beta, for the time being, beta signups have closed. However, you can still subscribe to the email to see when Stable Diffusion is fully released. And I did actually create a video about Stable Diffusion when beta signups were still a thing, and I actually included a direct link to the Discord server that the beta is going on in with the image generation. And by the way, the link to that video is down below if you're interested in learning all about Stable Diffusion. The link that I include in that video was originally the unofficial Stable Diffusion server, but it became the official server for Stable Diffusion and its beta for image generation. And right now that image generation uses a Discord bot similar to Midjourney. But if you still want to taste, join my very own Discord server, which will be linked in the description below. We talk about all kinds of AI stuff, lots of AI image generation goes on. We have a whole channel just for generating AIs. We have the Midjourney bot in here. So if you have Midjourney, you can use the bot in this server. And if you're interested in Stable Diffusion, a lot of my subscribers are actually in the Stable Diffusion beta. So you can submit your own prompt suggestions and see them get generated in Stable Diffusion. If one of the beta users submits the image in here, which has been going on all day, and the reason so many of my subscribers are actually in the beta is because, again, I made that video on Stable Diffusion when the server was still unofficial, and a lot of you viewers joined that server, and then it became the official Stable Diffusion server. But yeah, anyways, the Matvid Pro Discord server is really fun, and it's growing every day, so yeah, join that. Anyways, guys, back to today's main course. Now, Microsoft has created their very own text-to-image AI, which is known to them at least as VQ Diffusion. Now Microsoft here seems to be following suit with other big tech companies such as Meta and Google. Meta seems to be doing their own image AI thing with their Make a Scene, which basically allows you to paint with different brushes and then type words in and it will generate an image. 
So it's not really like your basic Dolly 2 or Mid Journey straight up text to image AI. It's more of like a painting app combined with a text to image generator. NVIDIA actually did something very similar to this. But yeah, Meta has been working on this. And of course, we all know that Google is working on Party or Pathways Autoregressive Text to Image Model. And I've talked about this on the channel before, and it's basically just the absolutely bomb, insane text to image generator. It's actually a very simple model, but it's extremely powerful. And at 20 billion parameters at its max, it is the biggest text to image model. And probably, we don't really have access to it, probably the most capable. But yes, Microsoft is dipping their toes in the water here and making their own text to image AI. And what is really nice is today we actually have access to this model and we'll be testing it out. But I honestly just find it absolutely fascinating that all of these different big tech companies are making a text to image model or image models in specific. It makes sense that a lot of these companies are investing in AI as a whole because AI is just absolutely powerful. The AI technology that has been coming out lately really seems to be quite limitless. But guys, tell me in the comments what you think about this. Why are all these big tech companies specifically focusing on image generation? Anyways, Microsoft's VQ Diffusion seems to be open source which is particularly interesting. So yes, people can make apps out of this, which is the way we will be testing it. And here is some very sciencey math. If you're one of those geniuses that can understand this kind of thing. But yes, anyways, it uses diffusion, which is very popular as of late. The latent space is modeled by a conditional variant of the recently developed denoising diffusion probabilistic model. It produces significantly better text to image generation results when compared with autoregressive models with similar number of parameters. EQ diffusion can handle more complex scenes and improve the synthesized image quality by a large margin. Really what they're saying is that this is more efficient than autoregressive technology, but of course they're not the only ones using diffusion. So let's put this model to the test. Let's see what it can do. Someone has put this model on replicate.com, which is this really nice AI site. We can see there's actually a few different options. We actually have a generation type, which you don't really see that often with these text -to image generators. We have in the wild text, MCCOCO datasets, ImageNet class label. So there's a few different datasets. So when they chose to do Teddy Bear playing in the pool as their example prompt, they did the in the wild. And as you can see, these images, I gotta say, they aren't so bad at all. You can actually choose to generate up to eight different images. We'll just stick to six for now. This is a truncation rate. Not sure exactly what that means. And then they also have a guidance scale for the improved VQ diffusion. So I'm not really going to mess with these settings I don't know much about. I'm just going to try to generate some basic imagery here, and we'll see what this model is capable of. I like the opening of this prompt, so we'll do the classic lemon wearing sunglasses. You subscribers of the channel know how much I like to use a lemon character as my prompt. I don't know what it is about that lemon character, but he just steals the hearts of everybody. So we will submit this prompt in replicate.com. All right, so I've had a few issues getting this model to run, but it seems that I was able to get that original teddy bear prompt to run in here. Okay, so we actually got some more teddy bears, which is good. Hopefully we can get some more prompts in, but yeah, these teddy bear images seem to be pretty nice so far. As you can see, these are all new ones compared to the sample images. Let's try that lemon prompt again. All right, we will submit. Okay, this is exciting. We actually got some lemon prompts. Just going to enlarge these a little bit here. So these are the images that it generated of the lemon wearing sunglasses playing in the pool. I gotta say, they're not so bad. You can easily download these images as well from replicate.com. And this one's pretty coherent. It's got human lips though, which is a little bit terrifying. I'm not going to lie. This one's also a little bit creepy. They also have like a nose, it looks like a baby lemon, but it's pretty coherent. I have to say it's not a bad image. These ones, you can see the lemon, you can see the pool, you can see the sunglasses, but they're all mishmashed. I'm actually going to see what Dolly 2 does with this same prompt. All right, guys, now when you compare this to Dolly 2, we can clearly see that Dolly 2 definitely has an edge over this. But again, the data set for Dolly 2, the parameters is definitely a lot higher. So that doesn't necessarily mean that Dolly 2 is more efficient. It just might mean that Dolly 2 is larger. But as you can see, these are some very nice images from Dolly 2 of this adorable lemon wearing sunglasses playing around in the pool. 
I swear, for some reason this lemon character just keeps getting more and more popular on my channel. He might have to become my new mascot. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. But yeah, all of these images are pretty decent. A little bit more stylized and creative even, I think, than Microsoft's. However, for a first model, this certainly isn't bad. OpenAI's first text-to-image model was not as good as the one that you see right here from Microsoft, in my opinion at least. Let's do that classic armchair in the shape of an avocado. Okay, so the classic armchair in the shape of an avocado. Interestingly enough, really less coherent. Maybe one of these other datasets would work better, but I'm not really too sure. We definitely get the avocado colors. This is like a little avocado over here, but nothing compared to what Dolly 2 is capable of, or maybe even some of the other text image generators. Stable Diffusion, which we looked at earlier in the video. Maybe even Crayon is better at doing this type of prompt here. I mean, it definitely is an armchair, but it's just very coherent. There's not a right amount of legs in a lot of them. They're mishmashed together. Trying the MSCO dataset with the same prompt. Okay, with this data set, not really looking too much better. We're getting like really avocado fruits, not really much of an armchair. They're just incoherent. There's something going on there, but it just doesn't quite have it. And with this one, we actually have to select from this crazy list of different words. Lemon is in here, guys. Okay, we're changing our prompt for this one. Lemon with sunglasses relaxing on the beach. Image class. Most definitely lemon. Okay, we really just got lemons here. I'm guessing that the image class is just like a bunch of images of lemons. So if you want to make more lemons, this is great. But uh, if you want like a specific thing of a lemon wearing sunglasses, then you're probably going to want to switch to another one of these models, which we will do right now for the same prompt. Okay, and as you can see, it comes out a lot better with this more general generation type. We do actually see a lemon wearing sunglasses, and he has a face, and we definitely see the beach, so... This is starting to get pretty coherent, honestly. It's not as good as, let's say, Mid Journey or Stable Diffusion or Dolly 2. It's getting there, and it's definitely an impressive model, but this is maybe similar to Crayon. Crayon might even be better now. Crayon had a recent update, which I still have to take a look at. But yeah, it's definitely a decent enough text to image generator, a decent amount of coherency here. I'm guessing with simple prompts such as a cute kitten. It's definitely got images of cute kittens in there. We're going to get a really nice coherent result out of it, similar to what you would get with maybe Crayon or Dolly 2 even. And as you can see with a simple prompt such as a cute kitten, where it definitely has an image in its data set, pretty decent images. This is a nice cute little kitten. I could be fooled into thinking that was a real photo. Same with this one. These two up there are a little bit more deformed. Those are not natural, normal looking kittens. You can tell it's supposed to be a kitten. So yeah, this model is getting there. It's, it's actually very good for an open source model. Of course, Stable Diffusion is going to be coming out soon as its own open source model, which will be very competitive with something like this. In my opinion, it's a lot better than something like this. But yeah, for open source stuff, this is really beneficial. Anything open source in regards to AI is really quite useful, and it's really nice to see. We can also explore a few other examples on Replicate. And again, you guys can try this at home with a link in the description below. and Give this a shot on Replicate, although the servers might get a little clogged as they normally do. This is a long exposure of a waterfall. Came out actually very nice as an example. Definitely got the long exposure, the waterfall, the trees, and everything. This is just simply a castle. These all look like old castles pretty much very decent results this is a group of elephants walking in muddy water definitely see the muddy water got the elephants in there they're not as coherent though they don't look like separate elephants they're all just mashed together in some sort of horrifying elephant blob you win some you lose some and this is just simply ambulance so we see that formulation of the ambulance it's not perfect yeah this model is nice i think mainly because it's open source and it's definitely pretty capable with some stuff like this teddy bear playing in a pool one was very impressive and i'm not sure exactly why maybe it's just a lot of stuff in, in the data set that match up with this but yeah it's nice to see more text to image generators hit the market and this one was created by microsoft but yeah we'll see if they continue to work with this project but it is open source and i'll link everything down below i'm at video productions check out the discord check out the rest of my videos and i will see you guys in the next one thanks for watching